Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are in the kids bathroom and we're going to be making this a functional space for my kids to take their showers and baths and brush their teeth and all of that. I've made every room in the house functional so far except for this one. So today we're going to be focusing on getting this done. I got some stuff from Amazon, uh, some stuff from Target. The stuff from Amazon hasn't came in yet but it's supposed to be here by this afternoon so I'm hoping once I get done with everything else I've got to do uh, that stuff will be in and we can get this done today. Like I said I got some stuff from Target. I got them a shower curtain and a rug and everything to match so we'll be getting all of that out but the big project in here today is to paint their bathtub so I'm going to be doing that and I'll reattach the trim that's been popped loose here. I missed that when I was doing the rest of the trim in the house and so we're going to go ahead and take care of that today. So y'all have heard me now a few times talk about Dwill. This is the Dwill tub and towel kit and this is by far my favorite kit to use. I've used it twice now. I used it on my mom's garden tub and it looks like a brand new tub. I've also used it on my stand-up shower in my bathroom and it looks like a brand new shower. I also have plans to do my garden tub eventually but that'll be something that comes later down the road but I wanted to go ahead and get the kids bathtub done so this bathroom would be finished. I have used other tub and towel kits before and I had a really bad experience the odor that was in our house was so strong. It seemed like a good week before our house was completely rid of the odor. So I had actually been on the market for a kit that was going to be low odor and I found Dwill and I'm so happy to say that I'm working with them on today's video. So a big thank you to Dwill for sponsoring today's video. But whether or not I'm getting sponsored, I will always use the Dwell kits. I, they're just the best because they are low odor, they're easy, they come with everything you need. So if you have a tub or a shower in your house or even some tile that needs a facelift, highly recommend the Dwell kit. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start painting this tub. These shower curtains are gonna be coming down. These are the old ones. I'm gonna trash those and we got some new ones. So before we get started, I wanted to show you guys an overview of what the bathroom looks like before. And also this bathtub, I have not cleaned this bathtub since we've been working on the house. And so it's really dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that. Anytime I use a tub and tile kit, I like to go ahead and prep my surface before I even open the paint. So any cleaning that has to be done, if you need to sand your surface, I would go ahead and do that before you open up the paint. So to clean the tub, I'm using my Kaboom Purple Spray with a Scrub Mommy. And I'm gonna scrub it top to bottom to remove any little bit of dirt or debris. You don't want any kind of dirt or dust trapped under the paint. Once I've got the surface clean and rinsed, I'll take a towel and dry it off really good, but I will also let it air dry for a few minutes just so we don't have any moisture while I'm waiting. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this sink so that'll be done and out of the way. It had not been cleaned either since we started working on the house, so it really needed it.
So let's go ahead and get started with this paint. I'm gonna show you really quick everything that comes in the kit. So in this little bag, you get a brush, a roller, you get tape and gloves and sandpaper, even a little stir stick. I'm telling y'all, it comes with everything. They also give you some plastic drape. You'll get your paint, a little bottle of hardener, and then just a little instruction booklet with a QR code on the back so you can scan that and watch a video if you need to. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the paint. I'm gonna take that little bottle of hardener and pour that whole bottle into the paint. And we're gonna stir this for a good couple of minutes just to make sure it is mixed really well. And I just wanted to show y'all an up close of the roller and the brush that it comes with. The roller is a smooth finish roller. The brush comes in handy for around your faucets and your drains. The only thing that's missing in the kit is a little tray. You could grab one for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I didn't feel like getting out today and I didn't have any paint trays on hand. So I just used a paper plate. A paper plate is my go-to when I don't have a tray on hand. So I'm gonna start at the very top and work my way down somebody was asking me the other day if the dual kits leave any streaks or if you can see roller marks when you're done i have not had an issue with that but i do also take my time and i am very careful i make sure as i'm rolling it on that i'm getting it as smooth as possible so i'm looking for drips or lines and i'm smoothing those out as much as possible and it comes out perfect every time so the color that i'm using is white but they also have vanilla white they have a mars black as well as a dark gray and a light gray so if you don't want to do white they have other options as well so y'all know one of my favorite things about the dual kit is the low odor but another one of my favorite things is how cost effective it is it's allowed me to to update the kids bathtub as well as my shower and I also have plans to do my garden tub in the future but it's allowed me to update those without spending a fortune on having to replace the tubs so that's another plus about the dwell kits and also just the fact that it comes with everything in the kit you don't have to run out and grab this or that it's already got everything you need in the box so it makes it really easy but also user friendly especially for beginners and it's also easy cleanup so unlike oil-based or solvent-based paints. There's no need for harsh chemicals or solvents to clean it up. You just simply rinse your tools and brushes with water and the same with spills or splatters. They can be easily cleaned up with water as well. And like I said, you can get it in other colors and also finishes. So it's really versatile. It can be used in bathtubs, sinks, countertops, floors, walls. It can be used both indoors and outdoors. So if you guys are interested in Dwill, I will have them linked down below. And again, I just want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. I seriously love working with Dwill. I have been very happy with their tub and tile kits. I've been thinking about trying some of their other stuff. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna let this dry and go work on some other things. I wanted to show y'all how much paint I had left. I did two coats on this tub. Uh, it can take up to four, just depending on how dark your surface is. They do recommend getting two kits just in case. 
So it, this one only took two coats and this is how much I had left over. So hopefully that will give you guys an idea. I get a lot of questions on how much you need to buy. So, um, but what I'm working on now is a cabinet for the kids bathroom. I wanted a cabinet in there that I can put over the toilet. All they have right now is that one little cabinet under the sink and that's just not enough for everything that they need. So I ordered an inexpensive cabinet from Walmart. I can link it down below if y'all are interested, but it was really easy to put together. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I can get that up on the wall and we can start working on decorate in the bathroom. everything down below if y'all are interested but my Amazon packages ended up getting here just in time so I got these little pictures it's a set of three and I really like the wood with all of this white that I have going on here in the bathroom I really wanted to add like some dark rustic vibes just to you know balance it out and it wouldn't be so white in your face um, I also forgot to mention that this bathroom is a shared bathroom between boys and my daughter so I didn't want to do one way or another and I feel like the rustic theme is just a good happy medium so that's what I did and then I got a gender neutral shower curtain and a rug from Target that will hang up here in a little bit but if y'all don't know the lip gloss trick I have done this trick forever to hang pictures up on the wall you just take some kind of I like to use something dark so that it shows up better and I just dab the brackets on the back of the picture and then I kind of center it up on the wall where I want it and then I press it just a little bit and then the lip gloss leaves marks on the wall of where your screw holes need to go so that's been really useful for me when I'm hanging up pictures They also needed somewhere to hang towels. So I got this wall mount. You can use it for towels or coats or hats or anything like that. But I like it because it kind of matches the picture so that everything kind of ties together. So when it comes, it comes disassembled. You have to screw the hooks onto the board, but it didn't take me long to do at all. And if y'all notice the old toilet paper mount there on the side of the cabinet, I cannot get that thing off. The screw that's in it is stripped and I can't for the life of me get that off. So if y'all know how to get strip screws out, please let me know so that I can get that off. And I also need to touch up paint where the cabinet meets the wall. That's where I had taped it and my paint bled through the tape. 
so I do need to touch that up there's a few places in the house I still need to touch up with paint but I just got so over painting that I said heck with it I will just touch it up when we move in and as I see it it'll be fine just one more thing I want to get hung I got a two pack of these hand towel rings so I got one for my bathroom and then I'm gonna put this one in here so I can put their hand towels on it I would like to get some kind of toilet paper stand to put in here so that I don't have to mount anything to the wall I would just rather get some kind of stand but I'm hoping I can find something like that at Ross or TJ Maxx. So we're gonna go ahead and hang up the shower curtain. So I'm using S hooks this time. This is my first time using S hooks. I'm kind of afraid that the shower curtains might keep coming off, but I guess we'll see. One thing I always make sure of when I'm shopping for shower curtain liners, I always get the kind that have the metal rings in the holes because the ones that don't, they tear so easily and they start falling down. So I always like to get the kind with the metal rings. And then the shower curtain is from the Pillow Fort line at Target. They had a couple of different gender neutral options and this was one of them. So it's kind of similar to the one that we have over at my mom's. The same colors except that one at my mom's is polka dots and this one is stripes. And also a new rug from the Pillow Fort line. It's just like the shower curtain so it matches perfectly. And then I did pick up a little trash can to go in here. I believe that's from Target too. I'll have to go back and look. But like I said, I'll have everything linked below. It's just a basic white trash can. So I'm going to finish up in here. I'm going to put out our little plastic jars that we keep our q-tips and um, cotton rounds and stuff like that we usually keep band-aids in here too but i'm out and need to get more So a couple of videos back, I had unboxed some stuff that a very sweet subscriber named Carrie had sent us. And then she had sent us a couple more boxes later that wouldn't all fit in the first two boxes she sent. And one of the things was this cute little light up puppy. Also this Christmas hand towel I thought was perfect for here in the kids bathroom since it's got so many beautiful bright colors. At first I had put him on the side by the toilet, but I had to stretch the cord across the sink. And so I just decided to move him to the opposite side. And then I just put their toothbrushes on the other, but I thought he made the perfect nightlight for here in the kids bathroom. So really quick, here's a before of the bathroom and what it looked like, and here is the after. So that is going to be all for today's video. I'm really happy with how this bathroom came out. It's a nice and functional space for them to come and use. If you're still watching, be sure to leave a butterfly emoji down in the comments and that just lets me know that you were here until the very end of the video. Also, if you want to check out Dwill, I will have that link down below. It's a really great way to update your bathtub or your shower or if you have some old tile that you need to paint instead of ripping those out you can just give them a fresh coat of paint. So like I said, I will have Dwill linked down below for you guys, but I hope y'all have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.
from a distance I 